Today we will see program 8 of unit 1. Open Visual Studio. Create new web application as we done in previous programs. Now as per program. Using add rotator control, display 3 images of car. Right click on root then select add new folder. Name it as images. Right click on that folder, select add existing item. Select image files from drop down menu. Then browse the location of 3 images and add it. Create new web form. Go the solution explorer. Right click on root. Then select add new item. Select visual C sharp as language and type as web form. You can change the name of the site as I am changing here as U1P8 then click on add. Go the design section. Put add rotator control from toolbox. As per question. And when user clicks on it, open website of it. Load the advertisement details from the XML. Create.xml file. Go the solution explorer. Right click on root. Then select add new item. Select visual C sharp as language and type as XML file. Change the file name as I am changing here as advertisement.xml. Then add it. Inside XML file write following code. Open advertisement tag then inside it add add tag for each advertisement. Set its property tag as image URL for image path. Navigation URL for navigation page. Alternate text is for in any case if image is not displayed. Set impression as priority of ad. Keyword for that ad. And set height and width for ad's image. Then. You can make copy of that ad. And create new two ads. Now go to design of u1p8.aspx. Then click on smart icon of add rotator. Select new data source. Select xml file. If you want specify id for that file then you can specify. Browse location for advertisement.xml. Then click on ok. Now you can debug the program and check output. You can see advertisement on web page. As you refresh the page, advertisement change according to its impression and when I am clicking on particular advertisement the specified page opens.